I was debating about another video, but we might as well, right? Might as well finish out 10.1. Um, we've seen this result back in discrete random variable chapter. This is kind of nice to verify why it makes sense um, using expected values. So let x uh, be a negative binomial random variable. Remember what this means? This is, uh, this is the number of trials of trials until our success. In fact, this is on uh, test two when I talk about uh, my dog. How many trials does she need until she catches her fifth bug or something like that? So we say x is negative binomial with parameters r and p. p is the probability of success. So I think in like the ICO problem, her chance of catching a bug was a third. And I wanted to know number of trials, I think, till the fifth success or something like that. Um, we have formulas now. We know how to find expected value. Expected values are over, um, let me see, R over P. Um, so that would be 15. But um, here's another way to do it. So let me see. Let, let, let's just form a sequence of Bernoulli trials with probability of success equals P. So do something every time you do it. Do you know? Do it once. Probability of success is p probability of success is p so let x be the number of trials until the rth success so x1 is going to be the number of trials to the first x2 number of trials till the second and x3 number of trials so x if it's the total number until the rth success uh, x1 was the number to get to the first success to the second to the third to the rth success so if you think about it i mean if you need um Again, let's, I don't know how to do this exactly. Let, let, let's say it took three trials to get the first success. And then let's say the next one, it only took, um, I mean, there's a total now of five trials for two successes, but the number of trials took success once we started again was two. And this one, right, is three. And then uh, let's say, you know, again, this goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this took an additional four until success. So, I mean, expected value is nine, but that's coming from, um, I mean, it's not even expected value. It's a number for this experiment I'm running. This is three, this is two, this is four. So these are just bu a bunch of uh, geometrics, like number of trials to the first success once you start again, once you start again, once you start again. So um, expected value of X is the sum of the expected values by what we're saying in this chapter. Um, expected value of a geometric, um, we said if, if the parameter is p, then this is 1 over p, plus 1 over p, plus 1 over p, and there's r of them, so this is r over p, and if you go back to your nose or your chart, r over p is the mean for a negative binomial. Okay, and so that pretty much finishes that out. Uh, tomorrow we do 10-2, covariance, and then... Uh, I don't know if we'll go to practice or just do a little 10-4. Um, I have to kind of see. And, you know, if you want to send me an email, tell you where you are, that's really great. I sent you some email about what you want to do about the final. So anything you want to say, it'd be nice to hear from you. I know you're tired, but let me, what, let me know what you're thinking. Okay, signing off for tonight. It's, my videos are not making as much sense anymore. Okay.